Now for a dessert that's worth the pain. Wonder Tart from Cuphead, the delicious last course. Cuphead never played it, and frankly, I don't plan to. Sorry, because I don't like playing games that tell you, oh, this game's gonna kick your ass. I don't want my ass kicked. I like my ass to be very unkicked. When it comes to gaming, I am strictly in the Weenie Hut Jr. camp, all right? But the game looks cool, and the concepts are cool, and the world is cool, and it's become so popular, uh, it's kind of replaced Dark Souls almost, as far as like the game that people say like, oh, I beat Cuphead, oh, I beat, Cu I beat Dark Souls, I beat Ninja Gaiden, you know, those games that everyone brags about. And because of that, I keep getting requests to make Cuphead recipes. Now, I found one that looked really cool called a Wonder Tart. Uh, I'm looking at the ingredients list here, kind of weird stuff, gnome berries, ice sugar cubes, dessert limes, or desert limes maybe? Pineapple mint, pretty sure that's not a real thing. Um, so sourcing these, it's gonna take me out of my comfort zone. Uh, turns out I gotta fight some people to get them. I can't just make an order on Instant Cart. I'm gonna go do that. Um, I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I just got my ass kicked. I'm in a lot of pain, uh, but I did manage to get those ingredients. I'm gonna pop a few Tylenol. They stole my shirt. Uh, and I'm gonna get started on that tart, all right? All right, first up, let's make the distillery dough, which is gonna have a secret ingredient. In a bowl goes soft butter and some powdered sugar. Whip it until it's combined. Now add in an egg yolk, just the yolk. Secret ingredient time. So this is distillery dough, so we're gonna add a little bit of booze. I'm using schnapps but you can use whatever you have, sherry, vodka, rum. It's not just for show here. Uh, when you add alcohol to doughs, it makes it so that the gluten doesn't form as much, so you're gonna have a much lighter dough, which is nice. If you don't wanna use booze, just use water. All right, now add in all your flour and a wee pinch of salt. Don't ever mix this. Once it comes together, use your hands. You'll know when it's ready when you Press it together and it holds. Pour it into a sealed container and press it into the edges. Seal and refrigerate it for at least a couple hours. I usually do this overnight. All right, when you want to make tarts, slam out your dough on a counter and divide it into eight equal pieces. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm using these cute metal pans with removable bottoms, but you can use one big one as well if you prefer. All right, take one of the pieces of dough and press it into the tart pan. There's no wrong way to do it, but you're gonna wanna try and make it thin. All right, now using a fork, you're gonna wanna dock the bottom to let air escape. All right, bake these in a 350 degree oven for 15 to 20 minutes. Keep a close eye on them though. Let them cool for 15 minutes. Then you should be able to take them out of the pans. All right, let's make the filling. Now look at these limes, they're running away from me. Sorry lime, time to die. While I have you here, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button. You know, that whole thing you gotta do. After all, I did put my body on the line for you to make this stupid recipe. And frankly, I think you owe me. All right, murder and squeeze enough limes until you have half a cup of juice. Pineapple mint, I don't think is real. I could be wrong, I'm not a botanist, but I'm gonna take some actual pineapple and chop it up until I have about a quarter cup of soap. All right, time to whip some cream. Stiff peaks. Now let's put the whole dang thing together. In a bowl goes a can of sweetened condensed milk. Get it all out. Add your lime juice, pineapple, and a pinch of salt. Whisk that until smooth. Then add your whipped cream. Mix it in, fold it in, it doesn't really matter. Now carefully spoon it into the tart shells that have cooled completely. We're gonna park these tarts in the freezer for at least four hours. Once they're stiff, put them in a Ziploc bag, and you can keep them in the freezer until it's time for dessert. All right, to serve, 
Top your tarts with some more whipped cream. And a berry. Check it out. Wonder Tart. A delicious frozen pie that's almost worth getting my ass kicked for. And it is. Yummy. Thanks for watching. If you're looking for more frozen treats, check out this cool video. I think you'll like it. In the meantime, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know what you think I should make next. See you next time. Bye.